Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Govberg, and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing the Patek Philippe 5016G in white gold. You can see this Patek Philippe grand complication and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this perpetual calendar minute repeater tourbillon, with all accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this exceptional grand complication. Now, the watch that you see on my wrist was produced between 1993 and 2011. Perhaps 200 copies were manufactured during that period, no more than a few dozen in any given metal. Now, fit comes first, so the watch measures 36.5 millimeters across the round of the case. That's not inclusive of the crown or the repeater slide. In terms of thickness, it's quite svelte. Despite 506 movement components, it's only 13 millimeters thick with a generously sloped case flank. The repeater slide does not impede a cuff or sleeve in any way. And the watch is a traditional 44.5-45 millimeters across the wrist. It has an incredible amount of gravitas, charm, charisma, and presence. Fortunately, because of its compact and traditional dimensions, you can wear this watch, I believe, with security on a wrist as small as 13.5 centimeters in circumference. And because of that gravitas, the watch can't be overwhelmed by a large wrist, no matter how big your tree trunk forearm. Believe me, this watch is up to the duty it will represent. And in full white gold, it's remarkably discreet. It would wear well with both smart casual attire and formal attire, a versatile Patek Philippe grand complication for nearly any occasion. It features a matte black monotone stitch folded edge alligator leather strap with a very traditional high polished Patek Philippe white gold pin buckle to match the case. And the case and the lugs do have tremendous character. You can see the horizontal case bands and swollen gadrons. You can see the fluting of the lugs giving them remarkable definition and the artful integration of the repeater slide into the flank of the case. The watch features a domed bezel giving way to a sapphire that frames a beautiful silvered, now it's a matte silver finish, so while it's metallic, it doesn't have the explosive gr directional grain of a sunburst. Breguet white gold style hands are matched with hand applied and polished Breguet white gold Arabic numerals. There's a retrograde date across the center of the dial and apertures for the perpetual calendar indications of the day, leap year cycle, and month. At six o'clock, there's a bosom style moon face framed within a constant second subdial bearing the serial number of the tourbillon. On. Now the watch on its case back shows off its pièce de résistance. Now naturally there is an accessory white gold solid case back that ships with the watch should you wish to fit it for greater heft on the wrist, but why would you with 28 jewels and 506 pieces? This is the caliber RTO 27 PS QRLU, meaning it's a repeater, it's a tourbillon, it's 27 millimeters across, it has petite or small seconds on the dial, along with a retrograde calendar and a moon phase, and yes, it has all those, plus an exquisite 14 karat gold third wheel that takes approximately 10 to 12 hours to hand finish. You can see the gorgeous rounded on gloss on the edge of each spoke, as well as the flamboyant cut of the individual spokes. Now, it does move quickly enough that you can view its motion, its slow motion, as its spokes disappear under the single-sided bridge or cock that bears the wheel. It rewards repeat viewing with the loop. You'll note black polish across the full tourbillon bridge, black polish being the highest standard of optical polish, and it reflects light most intensely in only one direction, which I've managed to capture here. From every other angle, it appears almost black, hence the nickname black polish or poly noir. The same treatment is applied to the strikers of the repeater. Beautifully finished, they're satin on their flanks, rounded with anglage on their edges, black polished on their tops, and they're set right next to a filigree style golden calatrava cross that covers the repeater mechanism. It's actually the repeater governor mechanism that slows down the cadence of the chimes to a wonderful musical lope rather than rushing through the chimes in indecent haste. The bridges feature a beautiful circular Cote de Genève. This is the Geneva Hallmark. The watch's production spanned the era of the Geneva Hallmark and the Patek Philippe seal. This watch, having been built before roughly July 2009, features the older Geneva stamp. There is no difference in finishing between the two. They are both exquisite. 
The balance beats away, and it is a free-sprung balance in Patek's fashion, beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and the manually wound piece has a 48-hour power reserve, so winding this watch is a daily pleasure. This is a spectacular timepiece that offers it all, the refinement of a tourbillon, the musical charm of a minute repeater, the practicality of a perpetual complete calendar, and the romance of a moon phase. You can see this little giant and purchase it on our website.